Our next lecture is all about adjustments. An adjustment is a broad term. It simply means to make a change to something. In Photoshop, we'll identify adjustments as changes made via the edit menu and then adjustments, or preferably via adjustment layers because of their non-destructive editing characteristics. Our objectives for this lecture include to understand the importance of making adjustments in Photoshop, why they are needed, and how they can be used to create both subtle correction type changes and creative aesthetic choices for a design. We will learn the steps needed to create an adjustment via an adjustment layer, paying specific attention to levels adjustments as a correction tool. We will practice applying adjustments including color balance, hue and saturation, curves, gradient maps, brightness and contrast, black and white, vibrance, etc. to make changes to an image or a layer. Adjusting an image means to change it in some way. Some adjustments try to normalize an image like fixing a color cast, brightness, or adjusting an over or underexposed image. Others are used to create unique stylized effects like a gradient map or a color overlay. As you can see from the examples on this page, one image can be adjusted in a number of ways to create many different variations. Some may be more or less applicable to your needs, but all provide additional resources in your Photoshop arsenal. The adjustments we are going to talk about in Lesson 11 are specifically applied via the Layers panel and abide by non-destructive editing practices, meaning the original layer is not modified. Instead, the changes occur via an adjustment layer. These are the same adjustments that can be found via the Edit menu. The only difference is the non-destructive property of the adjustment layer. If you look closely at the Layers panel in the example provided below, you can see five additional layers floating above the image layer. Each is an example of a different adjustment layer. The one currently activated is a gradient map. It takes the original pink flower image and applies coloring to the image in a stylized way, creating a new version of the image.